What's up guys, Jstall here. I've been messing around with this Aspire Nautilus Mini and I bought it at a local vape shop. Highly recommended by them and I just can't get rid of the burn taste on this thing and I'm just sick of it. The only time it worked good was when it had the original coil in it and then it came with five other ones in the starter kit and each one of those uh, all tasted burnt. As you can see here, I've tried various oils. You know, I got some Johnson's Creek. 100% VG. That's too thick for it. And then I got these other little oddball juices. I even got some really cheap zigzag just to try out. And really thin, liquidy. You know, when I first bought it, I was like, oh, well, maybe I don't like the PG, so... Maybe that's what's burning my nose. Uh, the guy, when he put it together for me, put a few drips on the coil and prime, we primed it up. And I just immediately noticed that it tasted, had a weird taste to it compared to the sample they gave me out of this little wick style tester thing he had. And I went round and round with it trying to prime it and cleaning the coils and soaking them in alcohol and all this shit and ultimately I, it's, it's been sitting on the shelf for like a month now because it just I can't get it to work I bought two five packs well I bought it came with five extra coils and one in it and then I bought another five pack of coils and every single coil except for the original one has turned out to be garbage now, I know you're going to say, oh, did you try cleaning your tank? And I'm like, well, what's in here that's going to make it taste burnt? Yes, I did clean it, but what's in here? You know, there's nothing in there. The only thing that's making it taste burnt is the fucking coils are garbage. Pardon my French. You know, and I also, I use it on the lowest setting. I never go higher than midway, which is like four point whatever. I always start out on the bottom and prime it up. I prime it a few times, you know, after I've already been using it. I'll plug the, my finger over the hole and suck on it dry a couple times, and then I'll try to take a, a puff off of it. <clears throat> and no matter what, this thing tastes burnt, man. I'm sick of trying to mess with it, and I'm sick of these coils and shit. Sorry, I'm drinking tea, but I highly recommend that you just stay away from the Aspire Nautilus Mini. I mean, I got probably about $200 sitting here, and uh, it's all pretty much worthless. Um, I've heard all these recommendations about soak your coils in alcohol before you use them to get the machine oil off of them. And I'm like, well, what the hell is there machine oil on something you're going to be vaporizing through? That sounds like a really good idea. Why doesn't Aspire clean the coils before they sell them, man? You know? That doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, there's so many different, you know, I haven't had any problems with mine. And I'm like, well, I don't know. That's pretty weird. You know, and I, I mean, I was driving down the street the other day and I saw this dude on the corner and he was vaping these huge clouds. I was like, what the heck? I mean, I could see him from like so far away. And then, you know, on mine, I'll take a full, I'll hit it as hard as I can with the airport on the smallest hole. And I'm still getting burn, burning in my nose. And hardly any vapor. You know, and I bought this thinking, oh, yeah, it'd be cool to have adjustable vapor and, or flow, you know, so you don't have to draw on it so hard. And unfortunately, most people recommend, oh, your juice is too thick. You don't want to run it on the largest hole. Otherwise, the coil won't wick good enough. I'm like, why are people raving about this thing so heavily? I just don't get it, man. As a matter of fact, I bought these this little uh, Blue Plus rechargeable kit, and uh, that thing hits perfectly every time. You don't have to 
prime it or any of that stupid stuff. Uh, it just works every single time, man. And I'm like, why did I spend so much money on this to just have it sit in my spare bedroom collecting dust? So if I were you, I would stay away from it. I mean, I know there's going to be people chiming in. Oh, I don't have any problems with mine. I'm like, well, good for you. Good for you, man. You know? You must have some special, uh, special coils or something that I don't have access to. I've checked all the uh, scratch-off numbers on the Aspire website, and then everything I bought is legit. And I honestly, I'm ready to just give up on it. So, if anybody wants to make me an offer on this thing, <laughs> feel free. I respond to all my emails. So. Or all my messages. Um, yeah. Anyway, do yourself a favor and just stay away from this thing, man. The BBC coil was supposed to be a godsend, and I'm um, like, this thing is junk. I mean, every single time, I mean, almost every single time you get a burning sensation in your nose from this thing. Like I was saying, that's why I bought, at first I thought it was the PG that was burning my nose, because a lot of people mentioned that, and then I switched, I bought some 100% VG, Gold Reserve, which tastes amazing, and the Tennessee Cure tastes amazing, but, looks like I'm out to buy another vaporizer just to be able to use it, you know, I don't understand this, so, leave some comments, subscribe, help me out, hook me up. Please don't rehash anything I've already mentioned. Uh, take it easy. Thanks.